Welcome to the Application Delivery How-To Video Series. My name is Matthew Karnowski. Today we're going to cover the topic of how to set up Prometheus to monitor Avi analytics. The Avi controller has a native authenticated API that exposes performance metrics to be consumed by Prometheus. Prometheus itself has limited authentication support, so to remove that dependency, we provide an API proxy. The diagram here shows the communication path between Prometheus, the Avi API proxy, and the Avi controller. The Avi API proxy is a Dockerized proxy container built using Avi's SDK, which is responsible for handling authentication and session management with the Avi controller's API. All the scrape requests from Prometheus will go to the Avi API proxy and are forwarded to the controller API with valid authorization headers and cookies. The response from the controller is returned back through the proxy to the requesting client application, in this case Prometheus. The Avi API proxy container image can be found on Docker Hub at the following URL. To configure Prometheus to pull Avi for performance metrics, a Prometheus job must be configured. For each job, a path must be defined with the relevant parameters. Each object type will have a different metrics path. There are paths for virtual services, pools, service engines, and controller. Within each job, you can specify the metrics you are interested in through the parameters. There's entity name, entity UID, metric ID, or tenant. Additional information regarding the job options can be found at the following URL. Here is an example of Prometheus job configuration that I'll be using for my demo. My job will be pulling virtual service metrics. I have configured the job to pull two specific metrics for two specific virtual services. The target for my job will be the Avi API proxy. Now let me walk through a quick demo showing how to deploy the Avi API proxy and configure a job within Prometheus. The first step that I'm going to perform is I'm going to deploy the Avi API proxy. When you're deploying the proxy container image, you'll need to specify the Avi controller and the credentials used to log into the controller um, that'll be used by the proxy. So here I'm going to deploy the uh, Avi API proxy. Proxy's been deployed. And we'll just go ahead and take a look at the logs to validate that the proxy has started successfully and logged into the controller. And here we can see that the proxy started as listed on port 8080 and it has logged in to the controller. Now I'll transition to Prometheus and I'll configure the job um, to pull the metrics from this controller. The next step is to add our job to the Prometheus configuration. I will be adding the example configuration from the previous slide as my job. For this job, there are two virtual services that we're interested in, Avi Demo, Avi VS, and Manual Scaleout VS. And for these two virtual services, two metrics, uh, Client Bandwidth and SSL Handshakes. I'll save that, and then we'll just reload the Prometheus configuration for take effect. And now, within the next minute or so, Prometheus will now start pulling metrics from the Avi controller. The job has been configured and been running for a little while. Now with the Prometheus, let's see what we have. I'll first check the status of the, the job. So I'll go to our targets, and we can see the job we configured is, has a state of up, and we can see the last success, successful scrape was 35 seconds ago. Now let's take a look at the data. I'll do a simple search, searching by type. And you can see the data, data is being returned. One thing to note, to be consistent with Prometheus standards, we replace periods with underscores in the metric names we return. And we also will preface it with an Avi underscore. Now let's take a look at one of these metrics for a specific virtual service. And you'll notice, again, Avi underscore and all periods have been replaced. So I'm looking for client bandwidth for this specific virtual service. I can see the data is here. And if I want to see this over time, I can look at a graph and see the data over time. And that is how to set up Prometheus to monitor Avi Analytics. Thank you for watching. Please check out other exciting videos in our application delivery how-to series.